Ovulation is a natural process that occurs in the female reproductive system. It is the release of a mature egg from the ovary into the fallopian tube, where it may be fertilized by the sperm. Ovulation usually occurs once a month and uh, approximately 14 days before the start of the next menstrual period. Guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Future Talks. My name is Vincent. This is where we get to discuss topics which are uh, normally complex but we put them in a very easy language where you can always understand them. We discuss matters medical, uh, but we put them in a language which you will easily understand. Guys, welcome. Today we are going to discuss about ovulation. And I can leave you not subscribe. Subscribe to Suture Talks channel and uh, you will get more videos here. Can you let me get your feedback on what you want to see in this channel and how we are doing in this channel. Guys, the process of ovulation is regulated by a complex interplay of hormones, including estrogen, uh, luteinizing hormone or LH, and also follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. So, for the FSH or uh, follicle stimulating hormone, uh, uh, stimulates the growth of follicles or the ovaries, uh, each of which contains an immature egg. As the follicles grow, they, they, they produce uh, what you call estrogen as an hormone which uh, triggers uh, the increase or the surge in the luteinizing hormone. So the, the increase or the surge in the luteinizing hormone or LH triggers what we call now ovulation, causing the mature egg to be released from the ovary. So ovulation is very important, uh, part of the menstrual cycle. Actually, ovulation controls the menstrual cycle. So as it is necessary for conception to occur, Women who are trying to conceive may track their ovulation cycle in order to determine the best time of the intercourse. Ovulation can also be affected by certain health conditions uh, or medications, and irregular ovulation can sometimes be a, be a, sign, a, be, be a bigger sign of underlying uh, big issue. So it is important to know that ovulation can also occur in absence of menstruation. So such, such as during pregnancy, or while taking uh, certain types of hormonal control, uh, birth control. So one can ovulate without menstruation. That's very important to note, guys. So what are the signs and symptoms? Uh, what are, how can we know a lady is uh, ovulating? Or can, how can one know uh, she is ovulating? Because for men, we don't, uh, men don't ovulate. I'm one of them. I don't ovulate, but ladies do. So there are several signs and symptoms that indicate the ovulation including the changes in the cervical mucus. As ovulation approaches, cervical mucus may become thinner and also more stretchy and similar to the consistency of a raw egg uh, whites. This type of mucus helps mom travel more easily through the, cervi the cervix and uh, into the fallopian tubes. So this kind of uh, mucus uh, discharge can be found in the outside the comes out of the birth canal and it is stretchy like we've said and also more of the white part of the egg and also stretchy at some point. So number two is also the changes in the basal uh, body temperature. Uh, basal body temperature or BBT is the body temperature at rest. So before, uh, before an activity or eating. During ovulation the BBT or the, the, the basal body temperature uh, increase uh, typically rises slightly and it remains elevated until the next uh, uh, menstrual period. So if the lady is very keen on the body temperature, on the, the what you call basal body temperature, there is that increase during that uh, ovulation time. So also we have what you call ovulation pain. Some women, and it's in some women, where some women may experience mild pain or discomfort on one side of the lower abdomen during ovulation. And this is known, known as uh, Mitchell's uh, mass, uh, Mitchell's mass. So where some ladies experience some ovulation pain uh, on the lower abdomen, sometimes uh, it is it's a mild, kind of mild pain. But when it is very severe, it can be also a sign of uh, another thing. So breast tenderness is also a sign of uh, ovulation. Uh, some women may experience breast tenderness or swelling during ovulation due to the changes, to the changes in, hormonal, in hormonal changes. And also, as another sign of, uh, or a symptom of uh, ovulation, we have uh, increased sexual drive. That's when the lady now, really, the sexual drive goes high 
the or the libido goes very high. Some women may experience an increase in libido around the time of ovulation due to the, the and this normally is about the increase of the estrogen. Estrogen is the hormone which is there here, is in the female. Now with the increase of the hormone, the libido also increases during this time of ovulation. And also we have what we call positive ovulation predictor test. With the ovulation predictor kits, one can take the surge in the where one now can take the luteinizing hormone levels with increase of it uh, and also uh, 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 with the increase of the whole the luteinizing hormone it can show especially just before the ovulation is an indication that the ovulation is on the way coming and a positive test the result indicates that the ovulation is likely to occur within the next 24 or 36 hours so positive ovulation predictor test which normally checks, uh, detects uh, ovulation just within the 20 uh, to show that the ovulation is likely to occur within 24 hours that's within a day or 24 hours to 36 hours so it is important to know that not all women experience these symptoms during ovulation and some women may experience them uh, at times in the menstrual cycle additionally these symptoms are not uh, foolproof indicators of ovulation and the only way to confirm ovulation is through the ultrasound because it shows on how the how the egg is moving or the maturity of the ova in the in the fallopian tubes uh, and also with the specific way of doing the the blood test so guys uh, and guys and ladies i want to wish you uh, good ovulation uh, days thank you very much and welcome to our video peace guys